Welcome back on Graphic Extras. In this tutorial, I'm just going to quickly show you how to modify a pattern, pattern swatch in Illustrator, and in particular, use the types of patterns. So now I've just got a pattern here, and it's a cat pattern from a Graphic Extras. Uh, it can be found on the Graphic Extras website. And I'm just going to double click on the swatches here. Now, if you double click on the cat swatches, that will do nothing. Um, it's a library, it's actually uh, fixed. So I'm just going to double click on this. This is swatches. That can be found via the window menu. And right, once you've done that, it actually comes up. And now this is what, when I actually created the pattern design, I actually created it using a grid type. Actually, it probably was actually created by the default setting at the time, because this was from a, quite a while back. So the grid type, you can actually change, obviously, this tile type to a brick by row. And now, once you've done that, you've got brick by row, you can actually set the brick offset. And the brick offset is quite good. It's uh, basically half and half, so that's just basically enables a pattern that's uh, that half or quarter, just obviously slightly closer, third. Now, personally, I would, I would love that to be a slider. I don't know why it was actually done as a drop down by one third, because I would have thought people would like to fine tune it. But anyway, it's a drop down with options, a, f a fair selection of options, which can be used. Of course, you can also do brick by column, and it's the same thing. So uh, if you do a half, so you can actually see it's halfway there, one third, that's well, a bit closer, one quarter, and again, just slightly shifted the offset. You can also, set, of course, set the width and height. And I'll just quickly set that, just go 300, 300. Now, of course, that crunches all the designs into each other, which, as a pattern, is not very effective. So I'm just going to go back, back to 1,000, 1,000. So you can actually increase the size of the pattern design, or maybe have it 2,000. So a lot wider, big separations now between the patterns. Right, also you can of course do size tile to art, which is probably the easiest one because that puts it back to a sense of default where it's all just touching each other. Of course, when you do that, if you resize, it just resizes there. And of course, if you rotate it, then you actually see it still basically touching. Okay going to go back I don't want that undo rotate and so you also you can add a spacing so if you actually want to say now you've got obviously size tile to art if you want a bit more space between them you can actually set 40 and 40 you can see it just basically gives a 40 gap 40 points gap around there right so that's a quick run through of the tile types as well as brick offset of course there are other options such as hex by column now I must admit, I wish also it would be nice for more tile types because there are there's quite a few different uh, there are other plugins um, that come to mind for uh, creating patterns, and they've got few, quite a large selection of types. Uh, unfortunately, it's only hex and brick and grid, and you can again see them all fairly crunched up there. And you can of course do exactly the same, add a bit more space in there, exactly the same, 200. Also, you can do hex by row. And of course, there's no brick offset at that point for those. Right, so that's a quick run through of the tile types for Illustrator and patterns and swatches. Hope you found this quick tutorial of interest and that you'll subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel. Thank you much.